welcome back to Anderson's TV. Mm. Uh, thank you, Mr. Pete. Oh, thank you. Uh, I mean, I've for that, my uh, way through it <laughs> every time. So, we've got <laughs> a Strat tuned to E flat. Yes. Um, and some pedals that are predominantly green. Tuned uh, to, to green. Yes, playing Stevie Rayborn inspired yeah. licks. So, it must be an updated Tube Screamer shootout. Yes. For 2022. Yeah, and if you uh, before you do that, did Steve ever play Clon? I didn't. That's a shout. I don't, he's yeah. certainly not famous for Clon, is he? He you can know, afford one. And if you, if you're still alive, you'll probably watch this going. I don't have a Clon, so he clone. would subscribe. Like, and he could win one. It's the only way he would ever get one. Yeah. Uh, right. So, <laughs> uh, a year or two back, Pete yeah. and I did essentially uh, this exact same shootout yeah. uh, with uh, some different clones of, of Tube Screamers. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can go watch that up there. It's still a totally relevant video and it may well be just as relevant as this. But yeah. in that video, yeah. we took this Tube Screamer here, the TS-808, the famous one that Stevie used, um, and compared it to a load of clones. And we got to the end and we couldn't really decide on a winner between the Sunset from Strymon and the East River Drive from Electro Harmonics. I think we ended up going, the Sunset is probably the marginally better pedal, but it's like four times as expensive as the East River Drive and, and the East River Drive was amazing given how cheap it was. So since that time, Anderton's has started stocking a ton of other um, Tube Screamer clones. So this time we've decided to, again, we're keeping the TS-808 from the first uh, shootout. We're keeping the two winners from the first shootout in the Strymon Sunset and the East River Drive yeah. from Electromonics. And then we're introducing some other pedals. And again, I won't say them out in order, otherwise Pete will work out what the order is, but you can see on here, and in, in, in a random order, we've got um, the Origin FX Halcyon, we've got the New. Cornerstone Antique, mm -hmm. uh, we've got the uh, Behringer Tube Overdrive, that's a quite an old pedal, but it's yes. only 20 quid, which 20 is crazy. Quid. We've got the uh, Persian Green Screamer from uh, One Control and the new Wampler Moxie. So, Moxie you, Turby, Turby Topsy. you can see mm. on the Gig Rig Quartermaster here, I've um, chained them up in the order. So, uh, it's not brilliantly obvious which one is which as I'm doing it. So, I expect during editing they'll do something to highlight which Yay. one it is. But there, you can see they're, they're in order, right? So, one is this one is this one and the reason I'm using the Quartermaster is um, it means that even though all of these other pedals are kind of maybe lined up in the row you're only ever hearing in complete isolation the one that's lit up yeah right and so, we can hear the proper noise the pedal makes indeed if it makes any we're using the fender engine room everything on here is a nine volt supply but the engine room is great uh -huh. um, and I've got some notes so that when Pete tells me about stuff. And again, with the reason we've got this here is that Pete can't see which one we're, we're on or anything no. like that. He doesn't know what order they're plugged in. So we can start nice and easy from one to eight. I came and in the room wearing this. Yes. Hopefully, um, Pete will, you know, kind of have a, a preference or whatever. And I think by blindfolding us, it means it doesn't matter. It takes away that sense that if you know that that's an expensive pedal your brain kind of goes oh that must be better than the cheap one then we just don't know right yeah um so pedal numero uno yeah let's go baby well here's the clean tone first because i think okay as andy says oh and sorry here's my clean I, tone. I apologize okay. i apologize okay prior to shooting this video i uh did some deep level research <laughs> into what were the settings on Stevie Ray Vaughan's TS-808. Okay. Uh, and basically the first two or three posts that I read were all the general consensus that this was ballpark the settings for his tube screamer. Obviously he didn't use, actually that's no, not true, did, he did he use did a Soldado yeah. at some point, yeah, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, perhaps typically speaking would have been better known for using. I, I feel like I should have deep dived into some so. of the playing uh, oh. previous this video. <laughs> So anyway, as you can see, I've kind of set all the pedals to be in that sort of ballpark. But Pete, you'll be able to at least ask me for changes to gain, volume and tone. Yes. One or two of the pedals have got extra knobs, but I kind of don't feel I should go there. Otherwise it gives away maybe what it is. But yeah. anyway, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. clean or okay, no clean. pedals. 
That's fat and juicy. It's fat and juicy. Yeah. And if you dig in, you've got quite a bit there. Yeah, I've got, it, I've got it on the drive. I think I've got it on the crunch setting on the amp there. Oh, yes. Sorry. <laughs> so, no, there we are. So, uh, with no further ado, numero uno. That's great. great pedal, all right. Uh, do you want to try it over the top of a slightly more driven sound? Yeah. Here's the drive. It sounds like a old drive. <laughs> Here we go again. Man. I, I feel like it. I feel like. <laughs> It's in, so Stevie Ray's, according, again, according to the Tinterweb, he used his, like a, like a lot of modern players use their Tube Screamers, so very much as a volume boost, less yeah. as a drive boost, and with the tone rolled down. And I wonder if that would have been very much dependent on his amplifier. So those very spiky, vintage sounding fenders, super, uh, super you'd, have, you'd have maybe taken got, some of the reverb. tone down. Yeah. I felt as soon as you went to the gain channel of the Soldano, having the tone down made it too dark for me. So, but yeah. that's, you know, we can change that. Yeah. So, I mean, that, that sounded good, that pearl. Shall I, I, mean, that... I tell you what, I tell you what, tell we've me what. not done this previously in a thing. Why don't we, for the first section, stay on the clean channel yes, and I will literally go just through them go all. through them all yeah. and we don't even stop, right? Okay, I'm just going to give you a yeah, flavour. Let's do that. Flavor. So, here we go. Clean I'm going to clean, yeah. Number two. A spiky and more driving. it. Yeah. Number three. Sounds the same. <laughs> Number four. Let's just stop this right five. now. <laughs> it's got more low end than this one. <laughs> Six. <Yeah>. Seven. <laughs> Number eight. They all sound the same, man. Okay. Wow. They all sound the same. I mean, the last They're... the last pedals there. There was one. Was that number five or six? Can I just do number five or six again? And then number six. Well, they've got the last row. I felt like the last mm. four or three or four. They had this low. There's this is low end in them. Like I, th I thought, number two sounded quite different. Maybe <laughs> yeah, more gain. Number two, right? Yeah, like yeah. So I tried to do that again. Uh, here's it. Okay. Yeah, there's more gain in that. I think you could probably switch through the more. I morning. literally was though. I was going between one and two, one and two while you were playing going, because what ah. I did there was I took some of the gain of number two down because it did feel like it's, it was. Uh, there's just, just no way, man. More. There's no now, way. Again, I mean, this brand of, it's, 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 you, we, why are you buying the got, brand now? Right? We've got pedals in here that are 20 quid <laughs> and we've got pedals in here that I think are 300 quid. No, I think, uh, I don't know that. I mean, 
Isn't I don't there, know. I'm pretty sure that the 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 three deer ones, right, are going to be the the Halcyon, the Sunset, and the Cornerstone, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, the Halcyon is two four nine, I think, and the Cornerstone is two forty nine too. I think that right. the, the, the Strymon is the most expensive one. Right. So the Strymon, in fairness, and I'm pretty sure we said this in the first video, which if we haven't pointed <laughs> out already. So the Strymon is two pedals in one. So I'm just using the. Uh, it's the side of the Strymon that's got the sort of the 808 kind of vibe. Yeah. Um, I think again, that's probably why what lent us towards the sunset in the first video was that it. You get it, another. You, yeah, you yeah. have more. Yeah. Um, more. Right. So we're going to do that run through again, but now you're you you get to say, can you have a, can I have a bit more? X, you know what y, I actually whatever. like exactly how they are. That's the weird thing about this, isn't it? Because I I always uh, the video I did on the Halcyon recently, it, I've got a love-hate relationship with the tube screamer mm -hmm. because sometimes it works sometimes it don't and sometimes i feel like if i want to play with the volume pedal it just it loses a lot mm. you know uh there's it's, it's very nasal for me so it no works well in a in a live band scenario but if you're playing on your own or you know then you lose all of that well i'll tell end, you what, we'll, yeah let's, let's do whatever you think man one, one, i mean two, i'm talking and already. then what i'll do is i'll i'll turn the tone control kind of up and i'll turn yeah. the gain up and everything and you can kind of get and just give me your sense like what you like but i was like going to say that the outer the gain or lower gain or high gain on a tube screw i've never really liked if there's too much gain yeah. it becomes a little bit so I'm, I'm gonna leave the volume on all these pedals relati relatively pushed all the time yeah so okay. here we go number one Too much gain for me then. More gain, I think. I think that sounds great. I mean, that's what I like. That's the great tube screamer tone. You know, it's not offensive okay. and it's, it doesn't I... spike. Stevie, if you're watching... Um, Sorry about the licks. I think you probably got the tone settings. Well, actually, it's chicken and egg, isn't it? The tone... What came first? Well, as in the reason the settings that Stevie uses sounds like Stevie is because they were the settings that he used. And because he was Stevie. <laughs> if that makes sense. Why did Stevie cross the road? Uh, to, to find uh, another Steve Screamer exactly. that sounded exactly the same as all the other ones. <laughs> right, um, okay. So number one, you've written, sounds great, it's what I like. Number two, let's go through some of the settings. So it sounds like there's more gain on this one. And it's not a snaisel. That's way too much gain. gainy that but it's good and it's very glassy or glassy very like gainy very glassy yeah uh, probably too much gain in that one i think well you could i mean Still sounds great. <laughs> Number three. Okay. So I'm just going to start. Yes, think too much gain there. I hadn't actually touched the gain control. No, that, was, that was just the tone control turning up and down. So here goes the gain. Yeah, that's too much. 
I'm turning the, it down now to okay. together. Okay. Any thoughts? He just sounds like the other two. Yeah. Man. What? What? Okay, number four. Yeah, that's I've got, got a nice... I've got to be honest with you, three and four are... Let me just jump between the two, because it's just... I think this sounds better than number three, though. Okay. Is that four? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I think it's got a slightly tighter low end on it. Let me just go through the settings then, so go on. Yeah, see that's, the gain is better louder in this one. The gain sounds better when it's loud. See when I turn the volume down. They all sort of lose something in that in that in the sound. They kind of they go a bit flat. But you can argue that that's everybody just wants the tune screw on, and it's just gonna be as loud as you can. You know? Yeah. Next. Sounds like the same. <laughs> I feel like this got more low end again. They all sound the same in that swiddly top end, don't they? They all have that. Let that me turn, let me mess around. It's so spiky. I mean, it's like. I did have the treble up full. So. Sounds good, but you went a bit John Mayer there as well, didn't you? Is he is he sort of like uh, he's just another? He's another two screamer guy, isn't fanatic. He? Yeah, he says as long as it's green, I can make it sound good. <laughs> okay, uh, <laughs> numero six. <laughs> It's got that, that, it's got that tube screamer vibe, No, not when you turn the gain up on that one. Again, when you turn it down, it kind of misses misses out some frequencies there. Um. Seven. Oh. Seven. I'm not keen on the on the. That's what I keep saying. The overdrive, uh, the, the drive when it's too much drive on the pedal. It's just all of them just has this. The last one. No, 
Ah, that's your bright. Ooh, low end in this one. That's almost too much. But it's it's funny how it still has that spiky top end. That's way too it's very low end, isn't it? You know what I mean? Doesn't make any sense what I'm saying. Play something. It all really sound the same, man. Play something really light and dynamic, and I'll go back down the order through eight, back through one. Just okay. To can sort I just hear? Can I just? Can you just? I'll send it all the way up here. Just go from one. You up. want to hear the hum now, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Okay. Ready for it? This starting at one. Looking for the hum. Two. Three. Four. <laughs> five. Six, seven, eight. <laughs> I mean, eight was probably the least Tommy one, but my There's God. There's a couple there. Oh, with very, I, it might literally just be that the volume is slightly lower on the page. <laughs> so play something light and dynamic where you're really trying to get a clean vibe and then you maybe just dig in. Exactly like that. Can you go back down? C7 is fun from low end of I think it might be too much. Yeah, that's got the same. Honestly, they sound the same, man. What do you think? Don't you think it sounds exactly the same? Well, they, I think it's a tiny little they're, nuances they're, that makes it a difference. But I think I know some of these pedals have got extra switches and dials and all sorts of stuff, you know, because I know the Halston has got the, 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 the that sort of adapt thing, which is which when I did the video, you have okay. you have the 808 and the and it sounds so exactly we're the same. I two mean, things, right? For, firstly. I am just going to go, right, which one do you think was the TS-808 and which was your favourite sound? I've got and absolutely then, no idea. Okay, man. but then you, so you've got to pick one. I, I, I'll go through them again. You've got to pick, just go with your gut. And then what we'll do is we'll remove the, the amp kind of blindfold cover thing. Because as Pete rightly said, there just, are the one, two, well, mainly this one, this one and this one have got switches that... Um, 
I was kind of tweaking, but didn't really want to tell Pete that there were switches there because then it sort of gives it away. But we can go into it a bit more. Once Pete can actually see what the pedals are, he can kind of go, oh no, then I, go, I like this, that one best. <laughs> All that sort of, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Which one is the one is. with the biggest marketing budget? Yeah, I like yeah. that one yeah. best. Where's no. the <laughs> um, so let, come on, just, just, you, I'm, I'm going to have to push you on this. I, I, I will recap. I know. You know, you said the first one sounds great. Uh, it's what I like. Second one, very gainy, very glassy, too much gain. Third one, sounds like the other two. Fourth one, <laughs> gain sounds better, louder, sounds tighter. Number five, uh, more low end sounds good. Number six, tube screamer vibe, not when the gain's turned up. Number seven, not keen when the drive is too high. Number eight, low end too much. Yeah. I think I think that the, the, when the gain's too high, all of them, I think yes. that's just that puts me off a little bit because it's an interesting... I'd rather mix them. Mm. I'd rather take a tube screamer lower gain and then another gain and then mix the two well, together. I when like I that did better. that, while you were um, you had a, you had a day off, and I did a did a day shooting with John Connon with JCM eight hundred and a tube screamer, and we were trying to do that kind of like. I'm sure I was here, wasn't I? Uh, don't, were you here? All right. I think so. Yeah. Well, we were trying right, to yeah. do this sort of like. Um, why for that sort of 80s yeah. uh, rock virtuoso yes. guitar player? So yeah. not Stevie Ray Vaughan. I'm, we're talking more um, Paul Gilbert and yeah. that kind of vibe. Why did why was their go-to amp always like a JCM 800 and a yeah, Tube yeah, Screamer? Yeah. And actually those sounds, we were getting more gain from the Tube Screamer. Yeah. But I do agree, this sound, it's you don't want the gain from the tube screamer. It's just giving you that yeah. sense of pushing the amp a bit more, a little bit. Anyway, which, look. Which have got the dry knobs on it? Which, oh, like a blend knob. Has any there's other only, than the Halcyon has got that? There's only one with I really a blend like that. knob on it. And yeah. I'll tell you now, I had it set largely off, yeah. basically. So we can play around once you yeah. know which is which. Okay. So come on then, I'm just going, just got a plan. I'm going to go okay. one to eight and you're going to have to go that one. <laughs> So which one is the uh, two? <laughs> Man, there is one there that's got lots of low end, and another one like number two has got got gain. It's funny different. that the second is half it number of three. The, the second half of the board seems to go more bassy, and that's just I, I didn't set this up in any order. It's just no. random. So you think number three is the is the tube screen? I'm literally just. Okay. I know it's not the ones with the, with a lot of gain because number two's got more gain, and I know a tube screw doesn't have that low end that the 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 further end, so like it's number seven has. Right. So it's either number one or number three. Okay. Let's I'm go. Just let's literally. go one and three. Okay. <laughs> Number one again. Is that one? Mm -hmm. okay, one three. And three. I think number three. Okay. Out of those two, but I've got no clue, man. It's brilliant. Okay, well you're, you're wrong. So what I am <laughs> going to do though now is I'm going to I'm going to play you three pedals. I'm going to play you number one and number three, yeah. and I'm going to play you the TS808. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, I'm yeah. not going to tell you which is which. You got to tell okay. me which is the TS808. Okay. okay? Okay, so the first, second one. You okay, so this is the first one I played you. Yeah. This is the second one I played. Yeah. And this is the third one. I think it's number two, the second one. Okay. Well, congratulations. So first time round, out of all eight, the one that you thought was the TS-808. This is so brilliant as well. So bad for sales. Uh, well, great for sales. You've just got to sell a lot of these to make up for it. So you chose the cheapest pedal on the board, which is the Behringer TO-800, which is great for consumers. And what it does mean for Andertons is we've got to sell about 500 more pedals a month now <laughs> at 20 pounds to make our sales target. Actually though, when I threw the TS-808 in, yeah. it was the it's one you more thought nasal. it was. 
Okay. It's, it, I hear more, uh, more. I hear that more mid rate humpy range so, in those two. No, don't say that now. No, so but, do, I, I, that's, yeah, but it's that's fine. Why, you, that's why so I guessed it. Do you Has have it sounded more a, like the, a kind of a favourite, or is that should we just move on? I mean, on I can't do the can favourite one, man. It's but, interesting that the East River Drive again. It got really well rated in yeah, the yeah, first yeah. video as well. Yeah. You should again. This video doesn't supersede that one. They're both super relevant if you're on your tube screen yeah, journey because exactly. it had some other great claims. Yeah. All right, look. I'm going to pull this screen out of the way now. In fact, we'll just it? turn the camera off for a second or I'll do a quick cut while we take the screen out. Here you are, Pete. Um, yeah. Now, obviously, you guys uh, in the audience, you knew this, but uh, this was the order. So the ones that you said... So, for example, the one you said was very gainy is the new Moxie Okay. Wampler. Okay. Uh, now, we should give you a bit of background behind these. So the East River Clone, the TO800, the Persian Green Screamer, and the Sunset are all trying to be TS-808 tube screamers. Yeah. And then the Moxie, the Halcyon, and the Cornerstone are kind of like this designer's like modded, yes. upgraded, whatever you wanted, like their flavor of one. Mm -hmm. So you'd kind of expect maybe these to, 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 to go places where the other ones don't necessarily go. But you also expect them to go 12 o'clock and it should sound like the 808. So that's, that's can, we, could you, can we just do that really quickly? Because you've got three of them, right? So let's go T8, 808, yep. everything is 12 o'clock. Everything at 12, see, I don't know that, I, I no, don't no, think but, that's a great sound but, out of the TS-808. What but, but. you get from that is, is that you go, does it sound, like an 808, straight up at 12 o'clock, right. you know. Well, I don't even know how we do that on these because they've yeah, got turn so it all, many... Turn it all the way down. See, you're an Adapt 2 on this one as well. You should be there, all the, the way down Honestly, if, I, if you go zero, there's like no bass end at all. But here, that's this is what... That's okay. probably why I thought that was more bassy. What, what happens in this one here? Uh, what you can, I can't even read what Tone, this. presence, volume, and gain. And then you've got a, a mid-range. Uh, is it a two-position? Yeah, two-position mid-range thing and a two-position compression thing. Yeah, so we'll just switch. off with that. <laughs> but I just want to see if they sound All anything right. like... Okay. So, so it, number, just a, here's the tube screamer. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. That's the Behringer. This <laughs> is the tube screamer. <laughs> but see what I mean now? It's gotten more nicely... Yeah. Moxie. Just switch between those two. So the Moxie has a fat control. Let me see if it's on or off. Yes. Right, so that was off. Too that much, was yeah. off. It has a voice control, so. I think over there. No, that's too hot. Yeah, it's giving it two yeah. different kind of mid bumps, yeah, there, isn't yeah. it? They sound quite similar. See, that's what you want to know. That's okay. what I've got. And so, then, Halcyon on its 808 setting. Yeah, and, okay, and dry all off. the way off, yeah. right? Brighter, uh, and then Cornerstone. They all sound so, so similar. And that's what you want, because now you can say, okay, with Is these it? other pedals, no, you get, okay, I've got the two screen sound, if I want mm. it, in this in these other pedals but now i can do other things See, with them for right? me for me if the only reason to buy something other than the tube screamer if you just want it to sound exactly like a tube screamer is, you if, buy the it's, tube screamer. If, it's, is if it's cheaper so for me it's like the, i get it with the east river drive the to 800 the persian green yeah, screamer yeah. they're all especially these two are you know way cheaper than the, yeah and then you kind of I guess the only reason to spend more than it costs you to buy a tube screamer is if you like the designer's take on it more than yep. you like the no, tube I, screamer. I completely agree, but that's that's why I would say that it's nice to have those options. I mean, what, let's, how play much the, let's play with the Moxie for yeah. a bit, and, and if I if I put it in its fat mode, I mean, what? Yeah. It do <laughs> See, 
I'm not so keen on that. No, I, think I, it's, I almost feel like, what, why would you? That's not what a tube screamer is supposed to okay, do. Okay, so t put that in fat mode. In fat and then mode. take. Uh, I can't remember fat which mode. way around it was. Now was it this and then, way? Then do adapts uh, two on the. Right, how does it? And then adapt two. To be on the modded side. No, no. See that retains different. that retains more of the two screamer sound, but it just gives you that. If I yeah, I just know, if I dial down the tone here. See now I'm rolling off the tone, right? Mm. So I'll roll it off. Sorry, not the tone, the volume. See that keeps I the low like, end now. I do like the bass. Smart. It's yeah, but that's now like you're taking the, the you're taking it on the other setting, have you? Yeah. That's the fact. I don't yeah. like the it's too that's too it, wobbly in the low it's, end. It's very interesting that uh, there's certain passages of what you play where the pedals sound exactly the same, yes. and then there's certain passages that you play where perhaps you're digging in a bit more, or you're or you're playing more softly. Yeah. Where all of a sudden the pedals sound quite different. Yeah. Um, Which is quite, and I suppose you know. that's it's. Yeah, well, let's so on the Halcyon then. Just remind me again. So you've got 808 mode, which is the sort of the traditional nod towards this, and yeah. then modded mode. What does it do yeah. in modded mode? I can't really remember what it is to be honest. <laughs> it's more for it's a bit more for humbucker, so it works oh, okay. better with a humbucker uh, guitar, which is cool to have. You know. Well, I I may need to apologise then because I think I think it for, takes some low end out actually. So for just, some just, of the for a lot of that shootout, I think I may have been in modded mode. Yeah, but. and that's why maybe maybe I thought it was too fat for low for low end. So try to put it on and then go between. So now you're on two. Ah, uh, sorry. Yeah, it takes low end out, doesn't it? Because humbuckers right, are. Right, I see. Yeah, so. yeah. Like but it's marginal. marginal. Yeah, yeah marginal. Yeah, this adapt that. control takes a lot more. Yeah, that's that's without, right? So you got two different levels of yeah. low end, and I mean, I really then, like that pedal. I think. And it's were you saying the dry control was more about if you're using but it with a heavily for me? So amp. Let, if you turn it off, yeah, and I go, this is my drive. So you hear more of the amp, right? You hear more of the driven amp coming in so that you can mix that, which I really like because you can't do that with the others. That's yep. why. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. That, I, mean, I think this was the point at the end of the demo was kind of going, look, if it was just a straightforward tube screamer shootout, yeah, then you, you know, you are sitting there going, those, well, yeah. blimey, for 20 quid, don't yeah. I get like pretty much everything I want? Yeah, why would I buy anything um, else? But there, yeah. there are obviously lots more. And that, you know, 20 quid as well. We, it's a plastic constructed pedal here. Yeah. Um, you know, you'd like to think that. You know, some of these other pedals will take a bit more of a beating than this one. I would try to get it and put it in a box, in a different box. That well, pedal. you could if you yeah, were yeah. using a quartermaster, so you never even switch exactly. on this. Exactly. Yeah, because it is be mad. Who would spend like you know three hundred and fifty pounds on the switcher to, to drive a twenty pound pedal? <laughs> I but still it's think, so I mean, good it's, though. It's just for the money. Nuts, it's unbeatable. It? It's insane, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, so what? So let's talk about the cornerstone. Now they they in their marketing probably talk more about how John Mayer uses the tube screamer necessarily yeah. than than um, than how Stevie Ray did, but at the end of the day, it's all still a tube screamer. But yeah. let's jump on over he here and hear some he? sound. So he's got that. So if we got. Oh, hang on. Sorry. Yeah. That's my fault. Somewhere over, I think, right, the, the Moxie on the voice control had a much more obvious yes. difference between the two mid ranges yeah. than this. I can't. It, a... it is there. Yeah, it's very soft. It's isn't almost it? you've got to play almost round about the A string. Yeah. Man! Yeah. And again, perhaps the, the compression levels. Does it work? And the one is down, and it... it's 
worth opening it up to see if it's actually attached to anything inside. Yeah, <laughs> yeah wow, they are subtle, aren't they? Yeah. I mean, um, it's a good sounding. It sounds good. You know, this it sounds like it's interesting because we've got gain. Sorry, we've got tone and presence as well now on here. So I, I almost feel like that's a lot of top you could, you could get your your Stevie Ray Vaughan backed off tone. <laughs> Adjust the presence just for that like, yeah, final, yeah, yeah. final. Yeah. You, yeah. Wow. Turn it all the way down the mix. Sorry, I've. That's got a low end in we it. We never that's talked much yet. I quite. It's it's very inherently fat the Persian green screen, yeah. isn't it? Which I which I kind of like as a mod, but it's not necessarily true isn't to that, that very thing on traditional. The side on that there were a few of these which yeah. had. Uh... Oh, you're right! Look at that! Yeah, it is. Oh, look at that! I've done the whole thing in its modern mode. Perhaps that's where the bass is coming from. <laughs> Sounds much more like it now. Ah, uh, we've taken the bass end away. No, I'd like the, that's, that's what I mean. Yeah, that's modern. Yeah, uh, and that's now, too much bass. Yeah. Well, there, there you go. We've got a new winner. Okay. Honestly, now, they all sound the same. They can all. This is the thing. Either, they can all sound the same. Yeah. Either I've gone, and I, I think this often happens at the end of like you know a 30-40 yeah, yeah, minute get, video. Yeah, you get, you, you end up going the five percent difference that I could have heard at the beginning of the video. I just can't hear anymore. Honestly, man, this is the same problem again as last video where you ha had to pick one. Well, and I it, think it's like you, can, you end up going. You end up going. <laughs> leaning again you go right for just value for money i could buy one of these and still have 250 pound left over to go and spend on other pedals other than one of these the east river is a metal enclosure yeah you know you and sit, it sounds sit great going, man. and it sounds really good and yeah. electronics make great pedals yeah i i don't actually know how much the moxie is yet it's a brand new pedal that at the time shooting the video has actually not been added to our website yet but i suspect most of these mini Wampler pedals are around about 150, yeah. 150 yeah. 200 yeah. marks. So yeah. that for me is about going, maybe if I want to be Stevie Ray Vaughan Tube Screamer, it's not the pedal to have, but maybe if I want a you know, much fatter, more modern type yeah. Tube yeah. Screamer sounds. Obviously, it's Tube Screamer just is just legendary. This. Do you know, I, I read an interesting mod, uh, Analog Man yeah, he does a, them, yeah. an 808 mod. Favorite. Do you know one of the mods that he does, the best mod? is he changes the LED for a light you can actually yeah, see. Yeah, yeah. The, the most frustrating thing about the 808 is you? unless you're right over it like an eagle, yeah. you, you can't see whether the pedal's And then it's got the, it's got the mini jack input for power as well, which oh, is yeah, annoying. That's a pain. But that's authentic, isn't it? And then I don't know, this this one control is a, is a new brand. Funnily Sounds enough, good. If, you, if you've not seen that video yet, the main reason we took on the one control stuff was they do these really affordable alternatives to yeah. all the, the gig rig switcher stuffs. Um, but this, uh, they worked with a, a pedal designer called Bjorn Hule, um and he's done a whole range of pedals. They sound great as well, yeah. and they're quite affordable, and they look cool, and they're mini. Everybody knows the, yeah. the guys at Origin make, you, you know, they go to the next level of engineering to do stuff. They don't bring anything out if there's weird, not. tweaked things in there, so yeah. that was pretty amazing. Cornerstone have got some great pedals in the range. 
um, the uh, Dumble thing is yeah. their big selling one, yeah. isn't it? Was it Gladio? Or Gladio. It was um, and then, of course, you know, as we decided recently, you know, even though, you know, there's a sense that you don't want to follow the crowd and be that guy that's got a board full of Strymon pedals as well. Yeah. There's a reason why everyone has boards full yeah, of Strymon pedals. Yeah, you saw the videos like, oh, God, I don't good. want to like these, but they're amazing. So, and, and we didn't even go through the fact that we've got a whole other side of the pedal to mess around with and stack stuff. So there's, again, the Sunset is still a very relevant pedal yeah. in this shootout. There's, the, there's no winners or losers here, is there? I mean, it's all, there's something for everyone on all budgets, mm. on, you know, what do you want to, what, what do you like? Top mounted jacks, side mounted jacks, you know, whatever. There's something for everybody here, isn't there? If you want a mix controller, if you want a pr compression, if you want presence, if you want mm. something for everyone there, isn't there? Then none of them are actually. I still, I still felt myself leaning towards the cheaper ones, just because yeah. I kind of was going like, yeah, like the. I, I mean that. That yeah, is that that, is, that that and that just sort of sitting here going. They sound great. Yeah. I'm quite glad we found that. Uh, well done for remembering that these had like a yeah, little side switch. There are some of them when we went through them that had more bass, but I can't remember which one mm. they were now. The, um, I don't, again, I didn't, I just randomly plugged these in and for some reason all the bassy ones seemed to be at yeah, this end and all the non bassy ones seemed to be at this so end. So it must have been the, the one control I thought was a bit too bassy. So what? So what, they, they all have the same chip in it, right? The, this RFCE uh, no one something something. Mm, I'd be surprised if they've all got the same chip. Yeah, isn't that the two screamer chip though? Isn't there like a chip that is the one that... Anyway, you know what? This is, I knew this was going to happen. Every single bloody time with these Tube Screamer things. It's just... How much money have you got? Do you, do you drive a Range mm. Rover or do you drive a old you know, C3 like me? What can you afford? What do you want on your board? What do you I, want people to go, oh, that you got on your board? I saw a great uh, Range Rover drove past me the other day that had obviously been modded in one of these mod shops. It was called a deranged Rover. <laughs> It looked wicked. I mean, the new ones, like but, 200 yeah, grand. I'd love it. They'd had it. it the Range Rover. It, it had the same font, but where it said Range Rover, it just said Deranged Rover. It's just like, it was a D Range, was it? No, as in. Yeah, yeah, D, but anyway. I would have an apostrophe right. like T, apostrophe uh, Range. Wow. So there you go. What did you like the best? I mean, funnily enough, when you, you hear it back on the recordings, sometimes you hear the nuances that yeah. we maybe don't hear in this room. But I mean, what I, did you I, like the yeah. best? But any of these, if you want to play... In fact, the most important thing, if you want to play like Steve Ray Vaughan, is to practice like an absolute lunatic. Yes. And then, then use any amp I think the most, the most important thing is not to sound like Steve Ray Vaughan, it's to sound like yourself. Well, there is that as well. Because he's done it. He's there. You can't be him. You can just be the best you. And I'm just throwing it out there. Let so him there inspire you. So I don't know what we've decided. Buy the cheapest one, buy the dearest one, don't buy any at all. Practice yeah. more, practice less. Be yourself, <laughs> copy Stevie Ray Vaughan. I mean, the world is your oyster. I want to go home everyone. Now. <laughs> And we shall see you in another video soon. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Yeah, and you can win a clone as much better anyway. Up there, <laughs> if you want. <laughs>